A very good morning and welcome if you've just tuned in. This is Expresso, your feel-good kickstart to the day. It is Black Friday. Now, traditionally, we know that America has dominated that Black Friday conversation, but it seems to have escalated. People all over the world, especially here in South Africa, have been sleeping out all night to get in on the act. Collectively, we all shake our heads. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Are there deals to be had? JP Kloppers joins us from Brands Eye. Thank you so much for Thank joining you. us, sir. Yep. Um, very interesting day for you, I'm sure. Where is Black Friday most prevalent? Is it still just a US thing, or can we ad adopt it as a South African day now? Definitely still biggest in the US. I mean, up to yesterday, 87,000 people speaking about it there. Second in line is the UK with 41,000, then Spain with 22, and interestingly, South Africa is number four at 6,000 people speaking about it. Why is that? Do we need a deal? Do we need a, a helping hand? Why is there this focus in South Africa, do you think? Well, I think with the kind of move to online retail that we've seen in SA, a lot of, a lot of brands are jumping on the bandwagon and saying, let's use this as a mechanism to get some pre-Christmas sales in. Uh, so that, that's, that's, I think, where people are just seizing the moment. Um, and when we say seizing the moment, people dressing it up in all brands, dressing it up in all manner of a fashion. How does the conversation work in America? How do they sell Black Friday in the U.S.? I think because it's quite established in the U.S., we see Black Friday as it's about the deal. So the biggest conversation in the U.S. is about a winch that you can buy and control from your cell phone to... Fire a drone. Yeah, to, to move your gun rack up into the ceiling. I don't know what they're going to use that for, but it's about the deal. In the UK, it's about the, the event. So it's trying to drive people, trying to drive traffic Feet through to the stores. door. Yeah. So it's more about retweet to win. Those are the biggest kind of conversations. Spain, we, we were chatting earlier, you know, the, the most shared content there was actually about don't buy a dog for Black Friday. You know, th that's a bad idea. That's an analogy we can use right across the world when it comes to Black Friday. Don't buy a dog. Think about what you're doing. I, th what I think here in SA, just on, the, on that last question, the interesting thing is the South African consumer still dominates the conversation. So it's not actually the brands that are at the forefront. It's uh, the most kind of retweeted content was somebody saying, can we have half price off data for Black Friday? <laughs> Please. And the second most content was a political, like Black Friday, let's see land being given back. <laughs> and so it's not actually the brands dominating, which is good for SA. Yeah, thankfully, it's our own version of how dangerous is Black Friday for a South African consumer? What do we need to be aware of? Look, I think it's generally good practice to only spend what you can afford. And so Black Friday creates this frenzy and often people buy what they can't afford. But that could be said about Christmas time as well. So I think a good dose of just rationality <laughs> around this time of year would be good for everyone. I think that holds true for the whole of 2016, actually. You, know, you mentioned yeah. e-commerce very briefly there. Is this something that we can see growing or taking new life in e-commerce? Yeah, I think so. I think it's, it kind of fits really well in the e-commerce framework. You know, we see in the, in the US about two thirds of the, of the conversation is trying to drive people to e-commerce. In the UK it's a bit more, and in South Africa it's actually a bit less. So I think the kind of shift is towards e-commerce and then reverts back towards stores. Uh, as the brick and mortar guys are saying, hey, let's get feet into our stores on these events. Let's get sleeping bags outside, outside exactly. our stores overnight. Exactly. Um, JP, thank you so much for opening a window into a, an incredible day, certainly from a, a brand perspective. I, I'm sure you, you look right. back yeah. on these sorts of days and pick up all sorts of information. Um, thank, thank you so you. much Thanks for joining for us, me. man. Really interesting. So guys, please don't buy a dog on Black Friday. Just be mindful of the fine print as well when you're taking up these new deals and just keep a clear head. Um, well, still plenty coming your way on your feel-good breakfast show.